What's up, YouTube? I'm back another video. It's your man, Dark Energy, coming to you live. And I want you to get a pen and a piece of paper to take notes. There's going to be most likely probably three parts to this video, to this lesson. And we're going to go even further into what this carbon is. Okay? Now, I want to play a clip from Dr. Lilia Africa. He has passed away. Okay? And the information I'm about to share with you is going to be mind-blowing. So get ready. Let's go. That's what they have a meeting about every three to five years. Years. That's what they have. I appreciate the introduction. This evening, uh, we're going to talk about something uh, called melanin. It's what everyone is concerned about in the world. It's what they have a meeting about every three to five years. Germany, Italy, France, the U.S., they meet every three to five years and have a melanin convention and discuss the latest research in melanin. They have never invited a black scientist to that meeting in history. They have never invited a black scientist to that meeting in history. Now to show you what he's talking about, because I know this is going to fly over a lot of you people's head, especially you black people, you niggas. You stuck in that damn Bible. I mean, this is bigger than that, man. You have a substance in you, and you don't realize what it's, what it's capable of doing. So he said that internationally different races from around the world come together every three to five years to hold a conference and now what he's talking about here is this it is called the it is called the international federation of pigment cell societies and look at what they tell you it says the international federation of pigment cell societies consists of four regional scientific societies Asia European Japanese Pan American to show you let's go to show you right here uh, right here don't you see this see so he, here are the regional, regional societies. You have the Asian Society for Pigment Cell Research, European Society for Pigment Cell Research, Japanese Society, and Pan American. How come they don't invite black people, Negroes? The reason they don't invite you is because they are studying you. Because you have the substance within you. They don't have it. They lack it. They lack it. Now, we're gonna go into some information. It's, I know it's gonna it's gonna piss a lot of you all off. You know what I'm saying? And I, I keep on telling you niggas, don't believe nothing I say. Do your own damn research. And you niggas still won't do your own damn research. Okay? Now, um, when you go on this website. They have links and resources for you to check out, right? Okay, like albinism, pigmentary system, phys uh, phys uh, physiology, vitiligo, color genes, and things of that nature, right? Mice and things like that, m m uh, melanomas, things like that, right? But I came across something that's even better. Okay? This right here is called the great book of melanin research it's two books and here are the societies this is in book this is in book format this is in this is in book in book format i ha, i have what they're researching so it says this research was compiled by dr rodolph alexandro nicholas chemist born August 1st, 1920, Professor of Organic Chemistry at Nepal's 
based in Rome University and the International Federation of Pigment Cell Societies. The Asian Society, European Society, Japanese Society, Pan American Society, and the National Institute of Health. And guess what they're guess what they're discussing? Carbon, melanin. And why how come you're not invited? Because they're studying your black ass. You are known internationally. International means you're known worldwide. So guess what? You don't have to be a you don't have to be a celebrity to be known worldwide. You don't have to have you don't have to sell off a fame and fortune. You are the fame and fortune. You are the goddamn commodity. So you have you click on meetings. They have meetings every three to five years. That they're telling you. They're, they're telling you. Like I said, I'm about to make two parts of this. Because this is some deep stuff. Right here, they're telling you. So what he just said, he's not lying. He's not, he is not lying. Here's the council. Right? Do you see any Negroes in here? In this council? No. You do not. Why is that? How come we're not invited? What are you all hiding from us? What are you all not telling us? The reason I'm not going to tell you is because they're discussing you. They're discussing you. Here are the members that's in there. Is, that's a part of this, this melanin conference society that they hold every three to five years. But your black ass not invited. Because if they invited you, they will have no choice but to spill the beans. Say, hey, all this research we, that we're doing is conducted on you. We're trapped. We, we're, we are. We are discussing you. And I have the information to back of what I said. I, I, I bring receipts. I bring receipts. Okay. So you have here. And they slipped up. And they put the word Negro in here. And I found it. So like here. They hold this conference every three to five years discussing you. And, and check this out. So it says. So here. Right. Check this out. It says. I want you to see this. It says melanin chemical studies should be carried out on samples of pure granul granulates. Melanin appears to be instrumental for various brain functions. For the ear to hear, the eyes to see. Listen to what they say. No blue or green colors would be seen in animal and plant kingdom without melanin or carbon. No blue or green eyes to admire. If you don't believe it, remove the melanin from those organs and observe what happens. You see that? So melanin, this carbon, this primordial substance, is the reason that you can see. It's the reason that you can hear. It's for your brain function. Not no goddamn God in the Bible. No, it's this, it's this, it's this shit that's inside of you. This substance. This is what's keeping you alive. This is what's giving, this is what's making you uh, function. This is your soul. This is your spirit. This is the biggest conspiracy worldwide. They used to discuss your black ass every three to five years and your black ass not invited. And it should, it should piss you off. And you niggas don't give a shit. They, they, they break they break this stuff down, man. They they put melanin carbon in a in a uh, in a uh, uh, test tube, and they shot lasers at it. They shot lasers at it, and the melanin blew it apart. You niggas want to talk that shit? We light beings, bullshit. You have a substance a substance inside of you. 
that dissipates light. That blows light apart. Laser is, what is lasers? Lasers, lasers are light. You have a substance in you that blows that shit apart. And they tell you right here, they give melanin different names, but it's carbon. And what is, and, and who come up with these terms? Carbon, melanin. Europeans come up with these terms. What do the Egyptians call it? They call it suit, soot. Right? It's like, like, let's go here. To prove what I'm saying, you niggas don't do no damn research. So you have carbon, right? It says that carbon is the key, the king of the chemical elements, right? And when you go here, right here, discovery, Egyptians and Sumerians, 3750 BCE. And it was recognized as a, by, it was recognized as an element by Antoine Lavazier. And I believe he's a German. Let's click on it. Who is this dude? Here it is right here. The French chemist. Okay. From the French, from the French Revolution. Right? You niggas ain't ready for this type of stuff, man. This is flying over right over your damn heads. It says that it says that carbon is presence is present in interstellar space. Okay. We're gonna go here. Look, look at this. Melanoma was found to be constituted by two different melanins in 1904. They be, they have been studying this substance since 1904. But I'm going to take it back even further because the Egyptians and Sumerians, they've been knew about this. And uh, they knew about this in 3750. They tell you right here, 3750 BCE. They knew about this stuff. Okay? So, they're giving you the breakdown of this stuff, man. They're, they're studying this stuff. And they and they still can't conclude that they still don't know what this stuff is made of, what what it does. Okay. So like here, like here. Yeah, it was started in 1904, but we're gonna take it back even further than that in my next video. Um. And the reason that you do get your colors. In the sky, it's because the sun gives you the, your uh, the, the solar light. It's the reason that you get those colors, different colors, all right. But I have all I have this all this stuff is documented from their website. It's all documented in this book. It's called the Great Book of Melanin Research. Okay, books one and book two. This is the only thing that they're concerned about. Is this? Genetics, genes, and they're studying you. So, like here, here's the here's the uh, so DNA is is carbon. Okay, it's so like here. It says that a difficult a difficult formula to to determine. So, like here, we go right here. It says that. Let me bring this out so you can see this. It says if in the past. A similar life to ours were on the moon, it is highly probable that the melanin, that the melanin, remember the, the word melanin means black. It's a it's the name of a woman. So if the so we have substitute melanin for carbon, if the carbon would have been conserved more than any other pigment. So it says, if in the past a similar life to ours were on the moon, it is highly probable that the melanin or carbon would have been conserved more than any other pigment. So if there is so-called, if there was life on the moon, who would be, who, what race would have the high abundance amount of carbon inside of them to live on the moon? 
and they will be Negroes, like right here. Um, I got I got the information. Like here, it talks about hot skin. The pigment of the skin, like all the black bodies, reflect only a small part of uh, incident light, which is therefore mainly transformed to heat, right? So we drop down here, it says, it talks about vitamin D. It says, these qualities of melanin are the basis of the hypothesis put forward. Also, if not completely shared, listen to this, that the whites may descend from the from blacks are you hearing this this is these people from the asian european japanese pan-american these societies come together every three to five years to discuss your black ass and they come out their own damn mouth and says that and say that um whites may descend from blacks and then it says in prehistoric times large masses of negroes negroes see that negroes they're discussing you negroes you go here to the Norse webster dictionary oh i got some heat for y'all asses you niggas ain't on my level let's go to the Norse webster dictionary watch this Y'all niggas worried about debates and the Hebrew and the uh, so-called chosen people of God. You, this is this is this is sad, man. This is sad. These other races are laughing at you. They're discussing you every three to five years. Now check this out. Now they now they just admitted. They just admitted that whites may descend from blacks. Now remember, I did the video on. Make up the white man. Now check this out. We're going to type in the word albino. Right? I want you to see this. Albino. Look at what it says. Albino. White. Look at this. A white descendant of black parents. Or a white person Belonging to a race of blacks. Now let's type in the word. Al. Binos. Look at what it says. Albinos. A name signifying white men. Given by the Portuguese. To the white Negroes of Africa. Listen to this. The color of this race appears like that of persons affected with leprosies and negroes and negroes look upon them as monsters this white man this albino nor webster said this in 1828 are you are you are you saying this you niggas you're not doing no goddamn research you want me to do all the research Are you, are you seeing this? And then when you go here to, we already typed in, we already we have already typed in American and things of that nature, right? This this is what this is what this is, man. This is what this is this is this is the only concern you should be worried about. Is this? It's carbon. You have the most abundance of carbon. You have you have everything. Everything is inside of you. They telling you. They they're doing they're doing the research on you. They doing the blueprints on you. Go back and watch my previous videos. You think this shit is a game? No. These white folks are trying to figure you out. They're trying to figure you out and they still ain't figured it. They still ain't figured the shit out. They say that carbon is a primordial, primordial substance. What is primordial? 
What does primordial mean? This is this is predating the earth. This is predating the universe. You have shit inside of you that predates the universe. That predates creation. Okay? Pri Right here, primordial. Primordial means what? First. First. First principle.